LAX Customs, Tuesday at 11, only on the Channel 4 News. Is your office this much fun? Probably not. Then how about a chance for a walk-on role on NBC's The Office? Just log on to KNBC.com for your chance to win. <laughs> Permission to do a flyby. Tobacco companies show you images of what life would be like if you smoke. They tell you tough, hard-working people smoke their cigarettes. That's your little cool, hip, and yes. That smoking makes you independent, beautiful, and mysterious. But the reality is that you can end up looking like this. Mazda now offers you a choice of two crossover SUVs. The sports car inspired CX-7 and the seven passenger CX-9 will spoil you at every turn. The five passenger CX-7 in the seven passenger CX-9. Designed and engineered the Zoom Zoom way. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Right now, cross over to Mazda and lease an 08 Mazda CX-7 front wheel drive sport for $199 a month for 24 months with $27.94 due at lease signing. Zoom Zoom. And you can almost tell what's gonna happen and you wish you could prevent it. I don't know how he shot this movie. I've never seen anything look so beautiful. It's a film to seek out and enjoy. I really identified with this character. feels the need for speed in the full throttle update of a cartoon classic. I'm Jeffrey Lyons. Welcome to Real Talk. I'm Alison Bales. It's week two of the summer movie season, and on today's show, Ashton Kutcher and Cameron Diaz hook up for laughs in Vegas, while Famke Janssen plays a pool hustler in an indie drama. Plus, Tim Robbins sounds off about noise and New York, and my conversation with Speed Racer star Emil Hirsch. First, let's review that movie. Speed Racer is a live-action CGI spectacle from the Wachowski brothers, the siblings behind The Matrix. Adapted from the cult classic 1960s cartoon, Emil Hirsch stars in the title role, an adventurous race car driver trying to honor the memory of his dead brother by winning the coveted Grand Prix title. Local fan favorite Speed Racer is gobbling up this track. Let us hope he does not make the same mistakes that his brother made. Sing shot after you in the next turn. I'm ready. Racing for his family's team, run by mom and pops racer, that's John Goodman and Susan Sarandon, Speed comes up against the ruthless Royalton Industries, a company that fixes races for profit. Christina Ricci is underused as Speed's girlfriend Trixie, and Lost star Matthew Fox is the mysterious racer X in this candy-colored, visually arresting, but empty extravaganza. Looking at that clip, you think, well, that kind of looks cool, but this is two and a quarter hours of this stuff. <laughs> I was done with it after the first 15 minutes because that race that we just saw, there's 10 of them in the, I don't know how many in the movie. The whole movie is just car racing with these blurring, visually crazy backgrounds. And I couldn't follow the action or didn't particularly care about the action because these characters are cartoons. No one bothered to flesh them out in the script. Right. I, I couldn't follow it either, but let's not forget, we are not close to the intended audience. Here. It is kids about eight years old. But we're the parents who have to take the kids. Yeah, so yes, say, that's why they invented beware. iPods. That's okay. The special effects are absolutely amazing, and I like the colors that all the, the characters wear, fresh oh. out of a cartoon, and okay, the cartoonish so look. look. Yeah, I'm not saying minutes. I like the film. I, they don't care if I like it, so long as you bring small kids to it. The kids are going to love it, but still, it is, a, it is a chore for parents. But I give the actors credit for trying something different in a big extravaganza. I just think that, no, it's not for us, but a good kids' movie should appeal to adults, too, too and they should 
should at least have made the characters fully rounded characters okay, rather I'll than flat two-dimensional well, let's Nothing. move on to something else. The week's other big uh, big movie is called What Happens in Vegas. Now, it stars Ashton Kutcher and Cameron Diaz working together for the first time. They portray two people who meet in Las Vegas, trying to forget recent troubles. Did I mention that I got fired by my boss slash father? Did I mention that I threw a surprise birthday party for my fiancé, and the surprise was that he dumped me in front of all of our closest friends while they hid in the closet? Wow. Okay, yeah. you win. After a tired night of passion and heavy drinking, they wake up married and instantly start to bicker. Then one of them wins a $3 million jackpot at the slot machine with a quarter barred from the other. After a judge back in New York then forces them to give their marriage a shot for six months, they try to undermine each other to get the money. Diaz and Kutcher have nice chemistry, and they provide a good support from Lake Bell as her best friend and The Daily Show's Rob Cordry as Kutcher's lawyer buddy in this pleasant surprise. Oh. Allison, I think you'll agree one of the best things of our job is going into a movie and expecting something and being pleasantly surprised, as I was by this, because of the chemistry between the two stars and also the supporting players. And, and, and it works. There's an electricity here, and you know one is going to try to top the other, but it's more than that. They're, they're people with real problems, and they, they, they make it funny. Well, I don't know about that. It's still pretty sitcom -y, but I have to say I enjoyed it, too. I'd seen the trailers on TV, and oh, I no. thought it looked really asinine, and I ended up loving it because Diaz and Kutcher are great together. They really are. They're both gorgeous to look at. I have to say, I had a lot of fun looking, <laughs> looking at Ashton Kutcher. He's very charismatic in this film. Probably his best role, I think, so One far. Of his best, yeah. And she's a great comedic talent. It really works well. And the script was funny. There's a bit in the middle where you're like, okay, we know where this is going. You know ultimately the ending. But it's a pleasant journey to go on. And kudos also to SNL cast member Jason Sudeikis, who's very good as her uh, ex boyfriend in a, in, in a thankless part, really. And I like the feel of it. And New York, of course, looks beautiful. Yeah, it was, it's a fun time. Fun time. Well, our next film is The Fall, opening in limited release. It stars Lee Pace, seen recently in Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day, and on TV's Pushing Daisies. He plays a Hollywood stuntman in 1915. After a paralyzing accident, he befriends a young girl in the hospital by inventing an elaborate story about bandits, tyrants, and exotic locations. Why? What? Why? Well... Because there wasn't enough water for all of them, and it was Alexander the Great's way of showing his army that they were all equal. That it's stupid. He fuses together characters heart, from yeah. his life and the, the hospital with his imaginative Sister fantasy Emily. world. The child hangs on his every word, not suspecting his real motives in this sumptuously shot adventure. I come away from this film and I just still can't forget the images. I don't know oh. how this director, Tarsim Singh, he did The Cell back in 2000 with Jennifer Lopez. I don't know how he shot this movie. I've never seen anything look so beautiful. He went to 18 or 20 odd uh, locations around the world over something like four years and they shot this movie on a very low budget and it looks Amazing. Absolutely. The colors are so vibrant. It's getting no promotion. I hope it, uh, the, the title isn't very catching, and you don't open a movie called a The Fall star. and the Summer and all that kind of though, the spring. But I hope people seek this movie out. It, 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 how he did it in four years, I don't know. It looks like it took 40 years to film. One of the characters, one of the superheroes, is a young Charles Darwin. And the use of flash, which really not flashbacks, the use of fantasy meshing into reality, which we saw there in the clip when one of the characters sneezes, and it's really the little girl sneezing. It's, it washes one into the other Wonderful wonderfully. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful little film. It's a debuting 13-year-old Romanian actress. Oh, she's younger and, than that. Yeah, and it's a film to seek out and enjoy, and, and it's, it's a gem waiting to be discovered in this season I of loved it. It's kind of like a Princess Bride fairy yeah. tale adventure. I loved it, but also a bit violent at the end, we should point out, right. for very young kids. Famke Janssen stars in our next film, a limited-release drama called Turn the River. She's a small-time pool room hustler in upstate New York. She makes frequent trips into the city to earn money and to sneak visits with the son she was forced to abandon at birth. Here she asks him an important question. How would you like to come live with me for a bit? It'd be very different, you know, a lot, of, a lot of changes. I mean, different school, different city, all of that. I know. What about missing Eric? I wouldn't miss him that much. What about missing your dad? Desperate to get her son away from her alcoholic ex-husband and his domineering mother, she makes a dangerous decision. Jansen oozes authenticity as a hardened woman dealing with life's obstacles in this, her strongest screen role to date. 
I really enjoyed this film. It's a very small film. It'll be eaten alive, I'm sure, by the bigger movies that open this weekend. But you should try and see it if you can. Um, she's great. And, you know, people know her from the X-Men movies. And here she's just, that's all gone. She, she's really in her character. And I love the fact that the pool room, the seediness of the New York sort of pool scene is evoked. And, you know, she's playing what's normally a male role, uh, the pool room guy. And she's beating guys who don't like it at all because she's a woman. But she is just the reason to see this movie. I thought she was very strong. Don't let the looks deceive you. She is a remarkable actress, and she gets you to care for her character, even though basically what her character is going to do is illegal. You root for her. You can understand yeah. her motivations, and that comes across without it being written in the script. It comes across in her demeanor and her delivery, and her interaction with the boy playing her son is very good, too. And Rip Torn, one of the great actors of our time, is terrific in a role as the guy who runs the pool parlor, and you can almost tell what's going to happen, and you wish you could prevent it. That means you're empathizing it's with the character perfectly. It's tragic that's sure. And Lois Smith is also very yep. good in it. Still ahead, Tim Robbins wants some peace and quiet in his new movie. We'll review Noise. And I sit down with one of Hollywood's fastest rising talents, Speed Racer star Emil Hirsch. With over a billion movies delivered so far, and never a late fee. Shh. It's movie time. Netflix. Crisp fudge cookies filled with our creamiest slow-churned fudge covered in smooth, rich fudge. Wow, crispy and creamy together. Think we've made enough? Oh, I think we're covered. New fudge-filled cookies from Keebler. Tara Gielig is a real Geico customer, not a paid celebrity. So to help tell her story, we hired the Pips. Not long ago, I was in a car accident. Ooh, fender, fender. With Geico's Auto Repair Express, the adjuster, repair shop, and rental car were all right there. Rental car smells like sunshine. To top it off, my rates stayed the same. Take a train to happy town. Woo Geico. Real service, real savings. Woo Dad stood in for Junior, so he had a lot of pain relievers. One for putting his back into the music. Another for playing defense with his head. But now he's all Advil. Who needs different pain relievers? Different pains. Advil is the every pain reliever. Nothing works better or on more pains. Wherever this ride takes him, he's got Advil. It's the every pain reliever. Crisp fudge cookies filled with our creamiest slow-churned fudge covered in smooth, rich fudge. <laughs> wow, crispy and creamy together. Think we've made enough? Oh, I think we're covered. New fudge-filled cookies from Keebler. Welcome back. Noise is a black comedy opening in New York this weekend before expanding nationwide. It stars Tim Robbins. He plays a Manhattan lawyer who, fed up with the relentless din of car alarms, which seem to go off every 10 minutes, takes matters into his own hands. Hey, 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 what are you doing? That's my car. We're told you cannot do this. You have to call us. You never come. We're here now. Because I broke the window. So he creates an alter ego, the rectifier vandalizing cars. This lands him, of course, in jail and upsets his wife, portrayed by Bridget Moynihan. But soon he gains support from others in this clever movie. Now, the director of this movie had this happen to him. He was obsessed by car alarms and decided to make a movie about it. And I think the film addresses the fact that too many of us, particularly in big cities like New York, tend to sit back and accept things, and this is not necessarily the way to go about it. But this is one guy who said, this is something I've got to do. I can't stand these car alarm, the, the things that go, alarms that go off and don't stop anybody, and I'm going to do it. Well, what happens, we should point out, is after he's the rectifier, he then does go the right route, which is try and 
take political action and try and get an initiative passed to stop car alarms and beeping right, car right, sirens right. and all the loud things. I loved it. I loved Tim Robbins, the way he plays this role. And I felt someone living in New York who was also irritated by all the sounds on the street. I really identified with this character. And the director, Henry Bean, did a great film called The Believer, which was right. Ryan Gosling's breakout film. Good director. He wrote this. And I have to say, I really liked it. It's very unpredictable. I had no idea where it was going. William Hurt plays the mayor of New York with City. With a terrible toupee. It's terrible very funny. Di <laughs> hilarious. Role. And I like the ending. It's just totally offbeat. It doesn't go where you think it's going to go. Well it's worth a little seeking gem. out. Yep. Yeah. Just be out there in it. You know, big mountains, rivers, sky, game. Just be out there in it, you know, in the wild. Emil Hirsch has gone from the great outdoors in Into the Wild to something completely different in his newest Speed Racer. I asked the young star about how he handled a car on a green screen racetrack and about making a family movie with the Wachowski brothers. Emil Hirsch gets this week's top billing. Sounds beefy, Pops. Yeah, I give a little something extra. When you go into a movie you knowing it's PG, do you say, oh, the atmosphere, everybody's going to be smiling and there's not going to be any liquor around, it's going to be very... Or, or is it just, just a movie that you've got a lot of things at stake, even though it's a whole different kind of mood on the set? I mean, yeah, you know, it's, it's a whole different kind of mood, and, and it was fun to kind of, you know, get to work with material that was really kind of light at times and a lot of action, and, you know, there was a chimpanzee in the movie that we were working with every day. Did they use one or two? I think you heard you say two, right? It was, right. It was, uh, it was Kenzie and Willie, uh -huh. they, and they switched them, you know, out, like, you know, like the Olsen twins. Right. It was like, you know, one pop Interesting in. analogy, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll get a call. <laughs> uh, when you are making a film like this, where there's a lot of money at stake, and you're not even in a car, I mean, you're in, yeah. you're in this robotic thing, when you see the final result, your trust has been vindicated in the directors. Yeah, you know, I mean, the Wachowski brothers, they did the Matrix trilogy, which I was right. such a huge fan of, and, and the decision for them to make a family film like Speed Racer was, was an interesting choice, but they, they really are big kids at heart. Like, that's who they are. They're really jokey guys, you know, very kind of loving spirits. And the tone that they kind of got on Speed Racer, I thought was just, you know, they kind of tapped into their inner kid. You have gone from the most ecological friendly movie into the wild, I mean, into somebody who has stewed everything of modern technology and went to become this Luddite out in the woods, and it's a sad, true story, to Speed Racer, which is the polar opposite. I mean, you're burning rubber and <laughs> you get all yeah, gasoline yeah, yeah. and all that. I mean, you're the same guy after the exp that, that experience? I mean, you know, I, I, you know the, this, the end of the wild got me into the whole idea of this kind of extremism. And, you know, the way I shoot a movie, the extremism of that, and, you know, all the nature. So after I was done with Into the Wild, I was like, well, what would be, what's something else I could do? So it was like just the extreme idea of working only with technology kind of was in the same line of thought as just doing these extreme kind of different projects. Now, which was tougher, doing river rafting for Into the Wild or being in that robot for for days and days in speed racer well you know the river rafting <coughs> was uh was was pretty was pretty uh daunting but uh at the same time being in the robotic arm of the kind of the weird car green screen thing was a mental strain a little bit i remember the terrible day i think it was 1978 or so that when when harvey milk was was shot and killed mm. it was the most bizarre things here we are half a continent away you really relate to the people this is your next film for gus van zandt did you go first of all and see all his old films again to get up to speed or do you want to go in fresh and just view it as a new challenge um i watched a lot of gus's films i had already been a really big fan of him but uh sean penn plays harvey milk right. in the film and uh the chance to get to work with Sean, uh, you know, in front of the camera was, uh, you know, especially after being directed by him for so long. I mean, I, I didn't, I was surprised that I even got the part because after spending so much time with me, you know, I thought Sean just never wanted to see me ever again. Like, I just spent a year in the woods with this guy, like. Milk is due out later this year. And don't forget that RealtalkTV.com is your summer movie resource. We have previews of just about every movie coming down the pike the next few months. From the big popcorn epics to the smaller art house projects. Still ahead, a surfing family is the subject of the new documentary, Surfwise. Plus our DVD roundup, including the musical biopic, which Allison and I couldn't have disagreed more on. Bigger, better breakfast.
Only $5.99 for a limited time. Norm's Restaurants, where life happens. I don't have to tell you what athlete's foot is like. It's annoying. And you just want it gone. So I get rid of it with Lotrimin Ultra. It's so powerful, it kills all major types of athlete's foot fungus. Nothing cures better. Lotrimin Ultra, the killer cure. Nice car. Not so nice scratch. Wouldn't it be nice if removing ugly scratches from your car was this easy? Now with new finished Scratch Doctor, removing surface scratches is easy. In fact, independent laboratory tests have proven Scratch Doctor to be the best scratch remover available. Scratch Doctor with advanced micro technology also removes paint scrapes, scuffs, haze, and swirl marks. So get Scratch Doctor. Number one rated Scratch Doctor available at AutoZone, Walmart, Pep Boys, Kmart, Craig, and Target, and other leading stores. It's worth the drive to Mathis Brothers where you'll find all the top brands at the lowest prices. Choose from our large selection of recliners, including this Ashley recliner priced at an unbelievable $138. This Lane full leather recliner at $499.95. And this Lane Hide a Chase rocking recliner at an incredible $287. Relax in a new recliner from Mathis Brothers on I-10 just west of Ontario Mills Mall. macaroni and cheese. Kids just love the one in the blue box because it's the cheesiest. She knows how to cheesy because mama is the best. Sitting in the kitchen with the cheesiest. We got the blue. It's the cheesiest. Uh -oh. Oh. Wings have landed at Pickup Sticks. Yeah. Tender, juicy chicken wings walked fresh in your choice of three tantalizing flavors. Spicy Kung Pao, Tempting Sesame Barbecue, or our famous house special, starting at just $5.49. New Asian wings, they're definitely taking off, only at Pickup Sticks. Our DVD roundup begins with the scary thriller Untraceable. On DVD and Blu-ray Tuesday, Diane Lane is impressive as an FBI agent trying to catch a cyber killer who murders his victims on the Internet. Soon she becomes a target herself. Colin Hanks co-stars as a fellow agent. Also, Denzel Washington stars in and directs the great debaters about the Wiley College debate team in the 1930s. He plays Melvin B. Tolson, who inspired his young students to find strength in words, not weapons. Loosely based on true events, this is enjoyable, though predictable, filmmaking. Also available, the mesmerizing and densely layered I'm Not There from filmmaker Todd Haynes. This imagines the life of Bob Dylan, portrayed by six different actors, from Christian Bale to Kate Blanchett in her Oscar-nominated role, and the late Heath Ledger. All represent different phases of Dylan's life in this highly elliptical and impressionistic take on the music icon. Before Speed Racer, Emil Hirsch co-starred in The Emperor's Club, my favorite film of 2002, and our Netflix DVD pick of the week. Hirsch portrayed an incorrigible student who, after initial reluctance, forged a bond with his dedicated prep school teacher, portrayed by Kevin Klein. There's an especially memorable scene where the teacher Word. treks to Washington to meet the boy's father. The emotional journey culminates with a reunion 25 years later, wherein the lessons Teaching of the past the are revisited. The Emperor's Club is available on DVD. Go to Netflix.com to find out how to rent this movie today. Our review of Surfwise is coming up in 60 seconds. And next week, the debut of the next chapter of the Narnia saga, The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. Plus our review of the controversial war documentary, Standard Operating Procedure. Even try to control you. Honey, if you want to get rid of your gray hair, try my hair color. It's really easy. Mm, women's hair color can take 30 minutes. Just for men, it takes 5 minutes. No one will notice. Mm, her color every hair. Just for men, targets only gray. It has ammonia, but it doesn't smell that bad. Mm, oh, yes, it does. Just for men has no damaging ammonia. Let's go buy some. It'll only take half an hour. Yeah, right. The truth is, men need just for men. Stay in the game. Glad Force Flex trash bags are so strong. One bag is all you need to pick up the pieces from even your biggest disasters.
What do you want the piano? For stretchable strength, get Glad Force Flex. Now to a documentary called Surfwise, opening in select cities. It's about a legendary 85-year-old surfer, Doc Paskowitz, a Stanford grad, no less, who shunned a medical career so he could drive his wife and their nine children up and down the West Coast for years, living out of a camper and surfing and enjoying life. I try to be as healthy as possible. And there is the key. Health more than the mere absence of disease. It's the presence of a superior state of well-being, a pizzazz. We hear Pascoas explain why he believes he chose the right path in life. We also hear from the children who have gone on to different paths in their lives. All but one expresses no regret, really, for their unconventional upbringing. Soon, however, all the talking heads seem to mesh together, and the novelty began to wear off. You know, a little bit of this went a long way. I couldn't understand why anybody would do what he did. Yeah, it's nice never to grow up and be a hippie. Why go to medical school in the first place? And that aside, the way the movie is made, it's a lot of lots and lots of talking heads. And maybe it's because I'm coming off a good documentary called Bra Boys, enough with surfing documentaries. I just couldn't, couldn't care less about I this. I really, really enjoyed this. I found this. I found him to be an absolutely fascinating character. He had gone to Israel. He had introduced surfing to Israel, which just... Well, that's an achievement. First, first thing. That's, what a fascinating story. He comes so back. He lives in a 24-foot camper van with nine uh -huh. children and his wife. And he raises them outside of society. And initially, I think you, you go with it. You're thinking, he's doing a good thing. These children are uh, they're learning about life. They're, they're, they're eating healthily. They're not eating junk food. They're not watching TV. And then gradually, as the film goes on, you start hearing from the grown-up children and the messes that they're like have become. Yes. I thought it was a fascinating study. It was like an anthropological study. I really enjoyed it. But he's it. held up as some sort of the ideal no, he's a child. Not. No, hippie. he's not. Oh, well, no, he's kind I of just... a bit of a monster by the end. Okay, I, think. I couldn't. I couldn't stand it. Don't go anywhere. Our final take for next. Hi, this is John Favreau, and you're watching Real Talk. Over a billion movies delivered so far, and never a late fee. Grab a seat. It's movie time. Netflix. Crisp fudge cookies filled with our creamiest slow-churned fudge covered in smooth, rich fudge. <laughs> wow, crispy and creamy together. Think we've made enough? Oh, I think we're covered. New fudge-filled cookies from Keebler. Jurgens asks, who needs the sun or the not-so-natural streaks? Try Jurgens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizers instead. Nine out of ten women said Jurgens gave them color as natural as a suntan. Jurgens, put your best skin out there. This is a great country. A country where people never stop trying. Never stop dreaming. Never stop creating. The perfect chicken sandwich. Introducing McDonald's new Southern Style Chicken Sandwich. It's perfectly seasoned. It's juicy. It's just plain better. All white meat chicken served warm with pickles on a steamed, buttery tasting bun. Why settle for ordinary when you simply don't have to? Closed captions provided by. Come on in to Red Robin for a big, juicy Whiskey River barbecue burger served with bottomless steak fries. Uniquely created to be insanely delicious. Red Robin. Yum. Doctors say to protect scars from the sun's harmful rays. My doctor recommended new Mederma Cream plus SPF 30 to make my scar less noticeable and protect it from sun exposure. Time now for final takes. I was saddened to read that Amy Winehouse will not be doing the theme song for the new upcoming Bond film, Quantum of Solace, because her personal problems are preventing her from working. What a shame. Of all the current female songwriters with her Nina Simone voice and retro style, she seemed perfect for the task. It will be interesting to see who they get to fill her shoes. In 1987, the Pet Shop Boys bowed out of the living daylights and were replaced by the Norwegian band Aha.
Tom Jones took over from Johnny Cash in 65, singing Thunderball. Brit pop star Lulu sang The Man with the Golden Gun, but Alice Cooper's rejected offering appears on his album Muscle of Love. Blondie also proffered their version of For Your Eyes Only, which Sheena Easton ended up singing, and Blondie's version ended up on a, in a different movie. My favorite is Shirley Bassey singing Everyone's Gold favorite. Finger. Well, this week, nearly a dozen movies opened or expanded into other cities. We reviewed the big ones that everyone's heard about and will be in most theaters, as well as several smaller movies in limited release, like Turn the River. That many new movies in one week tells me early releases perhaps haven't fared as well as distributors might have hoped, so they're being moved out of theaters. The upside is the fact that indie films in general are still getting a chance to be seen, and who knows, with an actor's strike still a possibility, we may see more of these sorts of films getting wider exposure in coming months when theaters need new product. In the meantime, seek out some offbeat fare now and then as a respite from all the big spectacles due out in the next few months. And while we can't review every movie on the show, on our website, you can get our exclusive review of the indie comedy, A Previous Engagement, as well as our reviews of all the movies now playing in theaters. Meantime, go seek out a movie called The Fall. And I recommend Noise. We'll see you next week.